Thank you all for joining in today. Um, in Psalms 23, 5, we read, You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies, and you anoint my head with oil, and my cup runneth over. This is a very familiar verse to us, and many of us have learned this even from our childhood. But I want to use this verse and show you um, the heart of God for each of us. You see, here it reminds us that God anoints our head with oil. You see, anointing the head with oil was done as a customary act um, or even as a treatment for an honored guest at a banquet. So David says here, you God prepare a table for me and you anoint my head with oil. So this means that we, as children of God, are the honored guest as God, at God's banqueting table. Many of us find it hard to even believe or even think that God does see us as honored people. We cannot imagine that the God of the universe has such a deep value for us, His creation, and that God sees us in this way. Now, I want to ask you a question. Why do you think is it important to see ourselves the way God sees us? It's because we are going to respond to God in the way we perceive how God sees us. If we see ourselves as dearly beloved, our approach to God and even to life will be changed. Now, God calls us to his banqueting table. He doesn't call us to a place of lack to a place of struggle or performance or hustle. In fact, he calls us to a prepared place, a place of banquet, a place of plenty, a place where we can feast with him. A place is always reserved at his table for us, and a seat is reserved for you at his table. Isn't that amazing to know that at God's banqueting table, a seat is reserved for you. We are invited to come into this banqueting table where we are the honored guest, where God anoints our head with oil. See, on this earth, when someone calls us to a banquet, or just say, for example, like a wedding, what do we do? We come in and we enjoy. We come into the feast and enjoy because the host has called us and invited us to come and celebrate with him. We do not come to that place and say, oh, I have to earn my spot at this table. We, I have to be worthy to even sit at this banqueting table. No, we don't do that in the natural. So God has invited us to come and to feast with him. And in celebration of what his son has done for entire humanity. So why do we find it hard to come in and see ourselves as honored guests? So when we think that, you know what, in eternity is going to be a constant celebration of what the Son has done. Psalms 16 verses 5 says, Lord, you have assigned my portion. My cup you have made my Lord secure. There is a secure place. There is no need to hustle, to compete or to perform with anyone else. Your portion and your lot is secure. I want to also bring to attention that if someone has to anoint your head with oil, they have to be in close proximity. Rather, you have to be in close proximity to the person who is anointing your head. So in the same way, if we remain in close proximity with the Father, as we stay in His presence, He anoints us with the oil of gladness. He anoints us for our calling and purpose. The anointing or this anointing is what is going to sustain us and it will increase as we remain in that place of intimate relationship with God. Otherwise, we find ourselves running on yesteryear's anointing or yesterday's anointing, which will just basically leave us burned out, running on fumes. What do we do with this anointing? The anointing is actually a call for action. It's time for all hands on deck. The time to sit back and be complacent is over. It's time that we rise up, take what we have been fed with and feed others so that they can taste and see how good this God is. As you give out, get refreshed and poured back in 
in the place of encounter and intimacy. So in this season, if you find yourself dry, depressed, sad or worried or even weary, remember that you have a seat at the banqueting table of the Lord. God sees you as honored guests. He sees you um, as somebody very important and he is the one that anoints your head with oil. He is near. May God bless you with this words.